Hey you guys, I'm gonna make this a quick live. I just came out of my um of my uh new Toto surgery and um so I'll give you the the quick rundown. So I arrived here like um at five um and then I got prepped of course um and after my prep um Dr. Barbara came and um, she got me ready for, they brought me into my room. This is my room, my, my, uh, my room after the surgery. My room after the surgery. So yesterday, I think I told you guys I did the, um, what did I do? I did the, um, the laser rejuvenation. Hey, oh and, oh, and also these are my temporary teeth. These are the temporary ones. December 2nd, I get the real ones. Um, hola, Maria, mi amor, como estas? So, um, I made it through yet another surgery. So here's what happened um, when I went to surgery. But let me explain to you guys like what she did to me. Hold on, I'm trying to sit up in the bed. Because let me tell you, I got up and I know they're checking me out around four-ish. Or if I want to stay longer. Um, but I got up. Um, a little nervous <laughs> um, this time. Um, I don't know why I was nervous. I woke up during the surgery, but I know that would happen. But hold on, I'm getting beside myself. So let me regroup myself and um, start from the beginning. So I come, my check-in. I had to bring a Faha. So I bought... Uh, so I bought Faha number one. And I've already checked my, my, my FUPA my faha fat uh fupa is gone can you guys hear me clear because then i will talk louder hold on y'all let me readjust myself um on a scale of one to ten the pain level that i'm in is zero it's more um irritating because my ass is so big um and um i've been laying on it that and number two um, I peed in the bed. I peed in the chuck. I'm sorry. Because I didn't know I was peeing. They gave me an epidural. So I still can't feel my legs. Um, hold on. Let me pull myself up. So right now, they came and she changed the chuck. She was going to change the whole sheet of the bed. But I'm like, yo, I'm leaving in, in another hour. I can sit in my own pee for an hour. Because, you know, I don't want to give them more work than it is. Because... There are like four American girls having surgery here today. Um, you know, the surgery rendezvous area. I bumped into them. There's quite a few girls on the floor who had, um, yeah, three girls. They just reeled one in just now. Um, I know one was getting reeled in around 11 o'clock because I heard her talking in the hallway. She was like, oh my God, thank God I made it, I'm alive. I'm going to talk about that in a minute, how I found that out, how I figured that out. Because, like I said, I woke up during the surgery. So, anyway, but, so, oh, man, yeah, I peed on myself. So, yep, I peed on myself. I'm trying to get all this wet stuff away from me. So, I'm trying to um, not be high maintenance um, because I know <laughs> they, need, they need attention more. Um, anyway, so, um, hold on. Yeah, my upper pussy fat is gone. Yes, I'm happy for that. So I will give you guys a pussy update and let you know what the pussy looks like. But there were two male doctors in the room. One uh, anesthesiologist, he was a black doctor. I asked him at the time when they were done, how does my pussy look? And he was like, oh, it looks delicious, very edible. And I was like, yes. Um, but I think he would say that regardless because I think that's his job to make a woman feel good. I don't know. But anyway... So I came in um, at 5 o'clock, um, around 5.45, the nurses started getting me together. Sorry, I'm trying to wipe myself. Um, the nurses started getting me together, um, putting my IV and things in. Um, then Dr. Barbara came, which is the assistant. Hola, como estas? No, 
Sí, tengo mi comida aquí. Ah, está bien. Es que te tenemos que poner la carne. Oh, um... Pero come si quieres, tú vuelves ahorita cuando sube la otra. Yo aquí ya no subo la otra. Y cuando viene a ver, se me tapa. No, pero vamos a poner. Vamos a ponérsela ahora. Okay, They're la... going to put on my faja right now, you guys. So hold on. Porque la, la autora me dijo que no me podía ir sin faja. This is my faja number one. Sería no para que sea Ay, perdóname. Oh, oh excuse está bien. Me. No sabía que estaba hablando por el teléfono. <laughs> está bien. Ah. Si te quiere cierre ahí y después llama sí. la llama de nuevo. Ok. No, sí. tu trabajo. No, no, no. So he's gonna put on my faja with you guys here. I don't care. Okay. Let me leave my bed flat. So you can put on my faja. Sorry, ladies. ¿Te quieres ir a sentar? Eh, no. Eh, se puede quedar ahí. Ah, está bien. Porque hay que quitarle ese móvil. Ok. Uy, pero... Uh, oh, wow. Ok. I can move. I'm officially sitting up. I'm going to let you guys see most of this. Put that in the way so I don't get flagged by Facebook. So, this is the first time I'm, ah, I'm sitting up. Wait, this is okay because I have, I don't want Facebook to flag me for showing. Do not get that says. Oh, yeah. Don't say it. Do not get All right, so n now is the time. <laughs> oh, wait, you'd still be able to see me. I have to turn so I don't get flagged by Facebook. Okay. Uh-oh. Yeah, this epidural business is um amor tengo problema con this faja business is no joke oh it's not there aquí me no necesita es no más okay And I have on a compression sock, so they give you a compression socks when you're in the room. Oh, okay. I'm making it up. Oops, I don't want to give Snap Facebook any nips. Woo! No. Okay. So I don't have my sea legs. Ah. Okay. I have to hold on to him or else I'm going to fall over. Okay. <laughs> this poor man. I wonder how much time he does this with women. Señor, tu trabajo está muy fuerte. Lo siento. Déjelo pie duro. Okay. Hold on, ladies. I'm still here. He's pulling out my faja. But I still have mermaid legs. afraid I'm gonna fall so he just wants me to hold on to him but I'm trying to help him pull up this faja.
No, uh, no, este arriba. Sí, sí. Hold on, girls, still on the faja. Okay. Será puesto esa paja. La tenía puesta. Hold on, y'all. Still Faha drama. <coughs> okay. Oh. Okay. Mm. Yo no necesito todo. Solo yo necesito es... Um, ¿Te la hubiese puesto? No, mira, tienen una aquí, una otra. ¿Otra? Sí. Uh. Pero es pantalón. Estás ahí, en mi bolso. Bueno. Este. Ah. Oh. Sí. Mira, me quieres este. 
Solo yo necesito es para aquí. Sí. Este es sí. Así. No, no, no. Sí. Oh, okay. Sí. Okay. Hold on, y'all. I'm almost done. Gracias. Okay. Estoy bien así. All right, ladies. Sorry, y'all. That was a lot of work. Oh, fucking air conditioning is right down. Even I should have turned on the AC, but I'm so hot. I didn't even care. So anyway, okay. So he gets me. So I come in at five o'clock in the morning. Um, I didn't put my faha all the way. I just put it for where I needed it because. I'm not trying to do this Baha life all over again like that. So um, I come in at 5 o'clock in the morning. They did all of my stuff. Dr. Barber came. Um, they wheeled me into the pre-op room where the anesthesiologist talked to you about, like, um, the stuff, you know, if you have any allergies and stuff like that. Um, um, and then um, I walk into the operation room. Um, and when I walked into the operation room, hey Shay, when I walked into the operation room, um, they, um, they told me that they were going to give me some sort of sleeping thing and they were also going to give me an epidural. Um, so they gave me the first sleeping shot or like, um, numbing, like, um, I guess it was something to make me drowsy so they can put the epidural in. So I got the first one. I wasn't really feeling it. And then I got the second one. And when I got the second one, I was like, hmm, I'm still not feeling anything. And then they put the epidural in. And I, I'm like, okay, I feel that pinch on the epidural. Um, but then that's all I remember. I was knocked the fuck out after that. So when they bend me over to put in the epidural, I was knocked out. Though I felt that felt a little pinch, I was still out. Um, so they only knock you out from the legs down. They did tell me that I would awaken during my surgery and that I shouldn't, um, be afraid when I awaken during the surgery. So, um, the first time I awoke during the surgery, because I know I was laying down and because my ass is so big, like I like to sit up cause I think I initially, I'm going to have like pain in my back. 
I didn't have any pain, but I was feeling the need to like sit up anyway. But my arms were cold and I kept telling them that my arms are cold and I needed them to cover my arms. So they kept telling me, don't sit up, don't sit up. And I was like, yo, stop talking to me then. Because if you're talking to me, I'm going to sit up. So everyone in the room decided that they were going to stop talking to me. And I just went back to sleep. Um, I believe that was around like 1130 because I remember asking the time, what time it was. And they were like, they were almost done, but it was like um, 1130. They were making sure everything was like good. And that's when I heard some sister in the hallway go, Oh my God, I'm alive. I made it. Thank you, God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Oh my God, God is good. She was so excited um, to be coming out of her surgery. Um, and I suppose it was one of the three sisters that I had met, not like they were sisters, three black girls that I had met um, that were having surgery with different um, doctor. I think she was having her surgery with one of the girls I was talking to, I think she was having her surgery with Mahia, and I don't remember who the other two were having their surgery with. Anyway, um, so, but she was praising the Lord and thanking God that she was alive for her surgery. Um, and then I went back to sleep, and I probably woke up about an hour later, because I think I've been back in my recovery room for about an hour. Um, or maybe, yeah, maybe 11, 30, 12, I think. Or 10, 30, 11, 11, 30, 12. It could have been 11, 30, 12. Because when I woke up the second time, I was awake for a while. Um, and that's when they told me that everything was done. Um, and that I was good. Um, and that's when I asked the anesthesiologist. And actually this guy right here that just came and put on my faha. I asked him about um, how did he feel about my toto. Did it, how did it look? And the anesthesiologist says it looks delicious. I said, delicious? He was like, yes, it's very edible in perfect English. And the other, um, and this guy was like, mm, si, muy bonita. Um, and then, um, and then that was it. And then they wheeled me in my room. Turns out, like, because I had an epidural, I didn't realize I peed on myself. Yeah, I am. I've been sleeping in a pool of pee and I peed a lot which was fine I'd rather pee than take a poop so I'll pee <laughs> um and that's it um so here's what I had so I had them put um fat in the labia minora which is the outside pussy lips and then the inside pussy lips your labia majora that was cut to make it look nice and pretty um, and then, of course, um, if you don't have fat on your body, they can use hyaluronic acid. But with me, they use my own fat. And they use my, my FUPA fat, which was enough. She said if she didn't have enough on my FUPA fat, that she was going to take fat from my thighs. And I was like, hell yeah, take all my fat thighs. Don't leave any fat there. If you love me, take my fat thighs. Um, and that was it. That's, um, and now I'm in recovery. I leave out of here, um, when do I leave here? I leave here at like four o'clock, four or five o'clock, and I'm gonna go back to my Airbnb and sleep. Um, I'm not in any pain at all. I literally have no pain. Um, I haven't eaten in a couple of days. I didn't wanna eat because I didn't want to shit on the t on the table with the epidural um so i guess i'm gonna oops, so i leave and i go home i guess i'm going to see her in the next couple of days as far as like um safety is concerned when i walked into this room this room smelled like it was doused with clorox it just smelled like cheap clorox bleach like dollar like 99 cent store clorox um, but I bought my Clorox wipe with me and my alcohol wipes and I wiped everything down, but don't worry about cleanliness because it's clean. Um, the, my Airbnb was clean, but what I did not know, what I noticed was that they don't, um, clean like the fixtures, you know, like when you clean your bathroom, you wipe down the fixtures. They don't really wipe that down. So I put some gloves on and I had wiped that down. So if you're coming, keep that in mind um to bring some and then i bought some cleaning products from the store 
Um, I bought some from New York and then I bought some from the store here um, because I plan on doing my own cleaning because I don't want a lot of um, action coming in my room. I'm only going to use the grill at the Airbnb to wash my clothes. That's it. Um, what else is there? Oh, these are my temporary teeth. These are the temporaries. So I'm going to put these up later. My originals, my temporaries, um, and then what I end up with. My temporaries will be made different than these because uh, my natural teeth fang here, I'm not going to have it so, so like pointy. They're going to be like square. I mean, they're going to be round. So these are my temporaries, the top and the bottom. Uh, and then I'm going to get my crown put in there. Um, and I get those December 2nd. So I'm chilling with these until December 2nd. Um, and then I'm probably going to um, do a video. I'm kind of liking these teeth right now because it makes me not want to eat. So I'm hoping that I'll be able to drop a little weight and hopefully keep it when I go home. I'm just making myself eat today um, because I'm on the vitamin D pills from my doctor in New York. And I want to take those. And um, Dr. Um, and Dr. Um, and Dr. Luciana gave me this this thing from this company. I'm going to Google it. They're a Canadian company, I know, and that you guys know because apparently it's good for blood and it's good for your immune system. When I came in, when I left New York, my blood was 12.2. When I got here, it was 11.4. So she gave me this because I have um, low blood. Mmm. She just told me that my cholesterol was high. Hell yeah, because that bitch been eating her chicharron since she's been here. Um, at home, I ate a lot healthier, but here I've been, um, you know, indulging in the Dominican food. Let me taste this soup. Why well, I think this is canned um, Campbell's chicken noodle soup. Mm. It's Campbellish. Um, oh no, maybe not. Cause well, yeah, it could be creamy Campbell. Anyway, um, yeah. So that's it. So that's all that's happening right now. I made it through my my Toto surgery. So my Toto is alive from the inside out. Um, God knows when I'm gonna try this new Toto. Because now, because I had to pay 5000 for this Toto. Yeah, my surgery was forty was 4500 just for this surgery. Um, and then I had to pay, on my credit card, it came up to like $170 for the blood work. Um, I had to pay $85 for the cardiologist for the echocardiogram and $60 for the chest x-ray. Um, so that's close to like what, 5,500? Oh, that's close to 5,000. So pretty much the surgery, and then $100 for like the vitamins. So yeah, somewhere near there around a hundred, maybe a little over five thousand, was a total surgery for the new Toto. Um, hey, Keisha. Mm. Um. And then, um, did you have? Yeah, I'm. I'm post op right now. Um. So I had the procedure. They gave me fat on my Toto. They cut, so the outer labia minora, the outer pussy, they gave me, um, they did fat transfer. They took the fat from my fupa area, that area that I hate so much. I feel fantastic. Um, I woke up during the surgery, but they told me that I would. Um, they gave only gave me medication to knock me out so they can do the epidural. Um, but I was knocked, but not out during the epidural side, but... 
I don't remember the epidural ending. I remember it starting, but not ending. And they did it through the back of my spine. I'm only um, numb from like the waist down. Um, I'm still trying to get my land legs back because only my sea legs are up and running. They're going to release me once my numbness have subsided. Um, and then they took my labia majora, labia minora outside, labia majora inside, and they cut it and made it pretty. Um, I didn't like my clitoral hood, so she made sure all that was taken care of. She had asked me if I wanted a camel toe, and I'm like, is that a thing? I was like, no. I don't think camel toes are sexy. Um, so, sorry. Let me not move stuff. This has been working just fine. Um, so I um, had 15 cc's of fat on each outer lips. Um, excuse me, I'm burping. Um, I can look and I can tell that my um, that my um, that my toto fat is gone. Um, what else is there? That's it. And so we wait. So yesterday I had the G-Spot stimulator, if you saw that video, and the clitoris stimulator. And that's all done through laser. Like she put you in one of those things like you're getting a pap smear, the specular. Um, and then she goes in and she lasers everything through. And then she asks you how you feel. For me, she did not stop until I said, oh yeah, I feel that and that's a 10. Um, and then she stimulate the clitoris with the same thing. And that, after a while, it felt like, imagine like someone taking a, like a needle pin and just ding, 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 you all day, like the tip of a needle, whether it be a bobby pin or whatever, and just sticking you all day. It, so it was more, it wasn't painful, then more so irritable. Um, so she stimulated the G-spot, the clit, and then she stimulated like the outer walls of like, you know, like your skin like in your Toto area. Oh, these are the temporary teeth. These are not even the good ones. These are the ugly ones. They're ugly. These are them, yeah. These are ugly, and these are the temporary ones. The pretty ones come in December 2nd. So I'm rocking these temporaries until the 2nd. So when I was a kid, I used to, um, did you do that? Yeah, I did my teeth. Oh, my teeth was, um, $5,000. My teeth was going to be a little bit more, but he didn't have to do as much work as he thought. Um, he had to shave down my, um, my, uh, he had to shave down like a lot of my teeth and based on how I wanted them. Um, and I have the veneer. So on the veneers, oh my God, I, I'm going to faint in this room. Let me see if I can find the, 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 let me see if I can find the, There's an air conditioning here, right here next to me. And I think I'm gonna faint. Let me, um, cause it's hot as hell in here. But I don't wanna get up cause if I fall, then I don't wanna fall and she can't get up. Um, so anyway, um, so, uh, oh, I was on the teeth. Um, so, um, and I, need, I probably need to lay down, but I don't want to lay back down because I literally, like, peed on the bed um, because I had the epidural I did not know. Um, so there's my, there, hold on, there's my disgusting bed of me peeing on it. Um, call someone to help. Yeah, I'm going to, um, um, and I also think it's because I, um, I also think it's because I have this blanket over me because I use my, oh my God, my dress. My dress is in there. Hold on, you guys. Hold on. I'm going to see. Hold on, let me see. Let me see if I'm okay to wake get up for a second. Give me two seconds. Give me a second. Oh my God, I can't move because of this dumb thing. Shit. I'm screwed. Oh, Woo! hold on. Hold on. I'm okay. Oh. oh my God. Yo. Uh-oh. Okay. Hold on.
Hold on. I haven't fallen. Okay. That should be better now. Hold on. Give me one more second. Here I come. I gotta walk slow. Ah! Oh my God. Oh, I made it. I was supposed to be looking for, yeah, I made it. Oops, see, I got a little nip. Okay. So, um, ugh. okay, I'm better now. This dress should keep me cool. Okay, so, um, oh, yeah, on a scale of one to 10 on like pain, I'm like in literally like no pain. I am just, um, I'm just irritable. But I have a really high tolerance for pain. So right now I'm just um, irritable. Um, and that's it. But other than that, I feel good. I'm excited about um, my new Toto. Um, I get my teeth done. I get my permanent teeth on December 2nd. I don't leave until the 26th of December, so you guys will see that. Um, I'm going to go and see... Manuel for a little bit more fillers. Um, my Kybella is not shaping up like I wanted it to. It's gone down. I don't know if I need another session of Kybella. Um, if not, I might just do the Kybella treatments like um, in the US. Um, um, and that's it. That's it. That's all I have to report. That's what's going on. So yeah, so the Toto is done. She's back to life and um and that's it so like i said earlier i'm going to um google this product because dr penna gave it to me it's good for like your iron and your immune like when i had my iron test last week in new york i was 12.4 and now i'm 11.4 so mm. luckily i didn't have a surgery that required me to um need blood, but they did have blood on standby, of course, just in case something had happened and I needed a blood transfusion. Um, but I'm good, I'm fantastic, I feel great, I'm excited. Um, actually, these temp talking about these temporary teeth, they feel a little bit big in my mouth. Um, I feel like I'm talking a little weird, but I'm glad they're in so I can get used to the other ones. The other ones will be a little bit smaller. It's like something is moving. It's the damn table that's moving, not the bed. Um, I think they could still be a bit smaller, but I'll show you them. Thus far, they're good. They're not big at all. Yeah. Aren't they gorgeous? Yeah. So, um, I don't know if I'm going to have a little lip filler with Manuel. I haven't decided yet. Um, but these are the teeth. Come close. They look good, right? So he gave me eight on top and eight on bottom. I thought I would need a 20, but apparently my smile only shows half and half. Yeah, it's so weird that you love them because these are the temporary ones. Wait till you see the real ones, but these are them. And the ones that I'm getting are the white, white ones. These aren't white, white, white. But I'm getting the whitest of the white ones. Um, but yeah, so I'm getting used to the temporaries. I didn't eat with them last night. I wanted to have a little something in my stomach, but not too much because I was getting an epidural and I did not want to poop on the bed. So um, I end up just having some papaya. I told them I would eat half of this soup, so I'm going to um, eat the soup because um, Dr. Barbara's like, no, you need to eat something. Um, and then Dr. Luciana Penna wanted me to eat something because I'm taking this thing and because I am on the, um, because I'm on vitamin D. And she was telling me that vitamin D doesn't really absorb well in an empty stomach, that you have to have something in your stomach for vitamin D to absorb well. Um, and I got my, my vitamin D is an OTC. It's one that I got from my doctor. Um, and what else is there? And I'm actually going to look to see if they sell those vitamin D's here. 
um, before I go because a lot of your medications, including like antibiotics, you can buy here without prescription. Um, yeah, so that's it. Hey, Shin Shin. I'm glad I'm able to. Oh, yeah. Welcome. Um, yeah, so that's it. That's what's going on. I made it through another surgery in the DR. So here's the things that I'm going to do next. That's next on my list. Um, oh, um, as far as like the vaginal laser surgery, it's like a six days. Um, it's six days for healing as far as like the um, the G-spot stimulator that I had yesterday and the clitoris stimulator. Those are like six days um, for recovery. And this, the labiaplasty, is six weeks recovery. But I wasn't worried about that. I don't have nobody to have sex with. And because um, I have my new thing now, like, yo, because I literally paid $5,000 for this pussy, you're going to have to pay ten for it. And I'm being dead ass. So no one gets nowhere near the Toto unless they have made a $10,000 investment, whether it be dinner or all the other shit if we're dating. No, fuck that. Literally, this pussy is not for free because I had to pay for it. Like, literally. Um, and so, um, and then the teeth was 5000 It was supposed to have been a little bit more. Yes, make sure they met. Okay. Um, they're definitely going to pay for it. Exactly. Yes, this is a lot of investment and a lot of sacrifice to, like, come for me just to be dishing it out. And lucky I never dished it out. Um, what else is there? Um, yeah, that's it. That's it for now. I'll do another live later when I get back to my Airbnb. But for right now, that's it. I'm out, ladies. And you guys have a fantastic day. Oh, I'll let you guys know when I'm going to do the one-on-one -on -one with Dr. Luciano Pena in case you guys have questions for her. I'm still trying to get to see Dr. Ricardo Ventura before everyone starts leaving out of here for Christmas. Um, and Christopher's aunt for thing. Um, are you doing the surgery? I just finished my surgery. I just finished my total surgery. Thank you, Keish. I just finished my total surgery. I'm going to see Ricardo Ventura for the surgery, for my final surgery, my round, is this round three? Can't be, I'm not going to consider this a round three. For my round three um, in August, August, um, August 2021. So I'm trying to get to see him to do a consultation before I go. So that's where I am. So I'm going to finish this soup and I'm going to try to... Um, do some little um, physical therapy on myself so I can get out of here, get my sea legs back and get out of here. And um, I will do a live later once I get back to my Airbnb so you guys will know how I'm feeling a couple of hours later. All right, ladies, have a great day. Bye.